Hello, my name is David Ludlow and I'm going to be taking you through this video showing you how to bring up images dynamically. So to start with, I've started some prep here. I've got some images of, let's say, staff. Now this could be products, it could be anything you wanted, but uh, let's assume these are staff members. And I've started a little table over the left hand side where I want to put an image and then I've got the staff members, let's say it's their staff code or their ID number and their name. The thing that I want to do first of all here is name some of these ranges and cells because it's so much easier when you're naming. So I want to name these columns here based on the heading at the top. So the easiest way to do it is just highlight it all like that then come up to your formula tab and just click create from selection. This is picked up right column as well. So take that out and just leave top row ticked. So we want to name the columns based on that top row. Click OK. And now if I highlight the data underneath that heading, you'll see in your name box, it's called image. This one's called staff code and this one's called name. Now I also want to name each of these individual cells where I'm going to put the images based on the staff code that we've got here. Again, the easiest way to do it is highlight those blank cells and those codes over on the right. Click create from selection, take the top row tick out, keep the right column tick in, click OK, and now when I click into A2, instead of being called A2, it's name one, name two, and so on. So that's going to help us when we're putting our formulas and functions together. Now what I'd like to do is make these cells a bit bigger to take these images. So let's highlight these and then just bring this down a bit so that they're a bit bigger. I think we need a bit more. The important thing here is the image must not touch the side of the cell. This column here a bit wider as well. And let's just bring our first image in. So you can see that image is going over the size of the cell. So you get a choice of either reducing the image or just making the rows just that bit bigger. When you've got it, you can just use your keys on your keyboard, your arrow keys, just to get it near the edge and now I can perhaps bring the size of that one down and the size of that up. So you need to do that for all of your images. Let's get this one in. If you find that the image you've got areas that you want to crop like this one, all you do is go up to your picture format and then click this one here that says crop and you can just pull that down and crop that image a bit just click crop again and that crops it. When you do that, it's worth coming over to compress pictures. And you want to take the tick out, apply it only to this picture, delete cropped areas of pictures, click OK, and that should delete all cropped areas of all pictures. And then when you've done that, just bring the picture over again make sure it's not touching the edge so that's fitting nicely it's not touching the edges perhaps move it over to the left a bit so that i can reduce the width of this column a little bit then bring the next one down so we've now got our pictures in there and our staff code, the name of each member of staff. So that's stage one. The next one, let's go over to sales record. Now remember, this column here is called name and this one called staff code. So let's go over to sales record. So here I want a drop down list of those staff codes. So if you click your data tab and then data validation, and we want to change any value to list. 
Now we could go and highlight the list, but we've named that list. So just type equals and then type the name in there. And it was staff code, that little range with the staff codes in. Click OK. And now when you click your drop down box, there's your staff codes. And we can just go and select any one of those. Right, the next stage now is to start setting up the picture in here and we'll also pull their name across so in this one we're going to pull their name into this cell let's start by typing equals and we're going to use index and match if you've got 365 you can use the new x lookup but let's do this with an index and match so equals index the index always displays what you want displayed so we want their name displayed well we named all their names that range of names name and if you start typing it you'll see that it pops up there it is name so that's what we want displayed comma and then we need to tell it what row number to display well that's going to come from the match function okay the lookup value is this cell here cell c2 comma then the lookup array is where we're going to find that well that was in the range we called staff code so if you start typing staff there it is staff code press tab and that finishes typing it then a comma and this is an exact match so we want zero in as the code then close two brackets one for the match and one for the index press enter and there it is there's that person's name let's go and change the drop down to another code and that brings in the name so I'm now going to make that look a bit better we'll make that bold and maybe give a background color maybe a gray or something and we'll make the text a bit bigger there we go we've got to sort the picture out so the first thing to do is go back to your images and select any picture it doesn't matter which one we'll select this one and copy that with Control c and then go back to where you want that displayed and paste that with Control v and then just position that particular one where you want your picture to go okay it doesn't matter that it's the wrong picture at the moment okay now what i'm going to do is make this look a bit nicer let's highlight from there to maybe there and color the background white so we've got a nice white background and then if we highlight all of this and i'm going to have a thick outside border so there we go there's the name and where the picture will be so the real final stage here is to get this image to change as we change this name so what i'm going to do is i want to name this cell here so let's name it based on that heading so highlight the two of them come up to create from selection it's going to be the top row click ok so that cell now is called select code we're going to use that when we refer to that so in this one here we were referring to c2 so we could if we wanted to change that c2 now to select there it is select code so we're actually cell referencing based on the name of the cell so that works really well so let's highlight that function that we've put in there control c for copy then just click the cross so we don't mess anything up and now we need to go to name manager and click new and we're going to have a name i'm going to call it show image all one word no spaces and then where it says refers to just delete that out and paste that function that we've just done now we do need to change this slightly 
where it says name here we don't want the name displayed we want the image so just delete name out and we called that column back on the other page image so that's what we want displayed everything else stays the same click OK and click close and now we need to make sure this image here refers to that name so just type equals and then start typing show and there it is show image so equal show image press enter and there it is it's just changed to David let's just go and pick another one name four there it is there's Jan and Jan's image name six and so on so that's the basis of dynamic images now if you've got a spreadsheet where you want these images to show up next to every row then you're going to need to refer to the code in each row but this is a nice starting point to learn how to create dynamic images based on a database of images so i hope you get on all right with that if you like this video please give me the thumbs up and remember to subscribe so that you don't miss any future ones click that bell so you get a notification when i've uploaded new ones and thank you for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next video